when you go in to meet with your buyers, do you tend to guide your conversation in a logical manner with them or do you tailor it to their emotional thinking? Both, both, both. There really is no right or wrong answer because you guys all have different personalities, right? right. You guys aren't all a hundred the same. And again, you guys hopefully can see this conversation is a very open, like, and it's hopefully to see you guys look at things a different way. There is really no right or wrong answer. What I can do is guide you guys as you guys are going into these appointments to think differently, which is hopefully what we're opening up for some of you guys right now. To your point, if I think logically, I don't tailor the emotion. Logical thinker as well to lack emotion side of it and sometimes. So I understand that side of you. You guys have made a point in, uh, I think somebody said financial, different family size. The reason they make a decision is because they see themselves a different way, right? They have a bigger family, they see themselves, right? We have a bigger family, we need a bigger house. Do they really need it? I don't know. I make a little more money now, I feel like I need a nicer car. Do you really need it? I don't know, it drives. Do you want it? That's an emotional decision, right? So if you go in logic only, and you're not paying attention to their emotional side of things, do you think that they think that you're hearing them? So you can see where somebody like you and my personality sometimes can get in conflict with some people, right? Does that make sense to you? Who thinks they're better on the emotional side or the logical side of thinking? Do you tend to pick up cues or would you identify closer with like emotional thought process or would you identify more with like a logical? So similar like what um, Raphael had just said, I don't really pay attention to emotion. I don't think that way. I just think in logic, does it make sense or not? That's more of like a logical thinker. That's how you hear things. When you hear people talk, are you like, that doesn't make any freaking sense. That's pure emotion. This is logic. On the other side of that, are you mainly an emotional thinker? I don't really care if that makes sense or not. It's kind of what you want. We're going to get you that. Like, do you know what I mean? Those are two very different thought processes. How you th perceive it, right? Let's just use an example. Somebody's going to buy and sell a house. How do you perceive what they're telling you? Hopefully you guys are looking deep on how you look at things. I think you have to identify what kind of thinker they are and then be adaptable. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter if you think logically, if they think emotionally, you need to understand that they are emotional thinkers and learn how to navigate that transaction knowing that they're emotional thinkers. Someone can afford it. Is that a logical or an emotional thought for them to buy and sell a house? It's logic, they can afford it. You either can or you can't, it's logic, right? You don't want to confuse that with emotional, like you can't afford it, you know. Style, the style of a home, a style of a car, style of clothes. Everybody's got to wear clothes, right? We all got to wear clothes, but what's more important to somebody, it's the style, right? They have more of an emotional, so let's say you're trying to sell a friggin' shirt, right, to somebody. We're all going to wear a shirt. Why do people not all wear the same damn shirt unless you're me? It's all preference. It's style, it's emotional, right? I emotionally like this, this is my style, right? Do you think you're gonna have better luck selling somebody a t-shirt if you're like, you just need a damn shirt, buy this shirt? Or if you understand their style and you can sell them a shirt. How the hell do you think Gucci gets fucking two G's for a purse when I can, I can get you that little Panera bag right there that's gonna carry your shit the same way? They sell on emotion, right? They sell on status. There's a reason you feel like you need that Gucci bag over a Fry's shopping bag to carry your shit. Prices are going up. Emotional or logic? All right, logical decision. Social status. You guys are seeing how these are a little bit different, right? When people come in and you're trying to uncover the true reason of why they're doing what they're doing. Why are they selling? Why are they buying? 